Although we do a lot of knitting, uh, and that's what most people connect us with, we also love doing crochet. It's a great way to get rid of a lot of leftover yarn, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> Which we love. And we love doing all these different flowers. So we thought that we'd uh, show you a little bit more the basics, the ABC of crochet. And to confuse ourselves even further, uh, of course, in Norwegian you have just you know, a single set of terms, but if we're going to do this in English, there's an American way of doing it and a British way of doing it. So we're going to try to keep both well, of those. You will try. I will try to keep them both, uh, to keep track of both of them, and hopefully we will have something for you in the end of this program. And we will make the snowflake like this, but in white. You need a needle and the yeah. yarn. That's it. And the pattern, of course. So you start with a loop like this. Mm -hmm. You put the needle in the loop and then you pull the yarn through the loop. And in this fla uh, snowflake, you need six stitches in a row. And these are called uh, chain stitches. stitches. And those are the same regardless of if you're in England or in America. Six chain stitches? Six kedemusker. Yes. Like this. Then you make a circle of these six chain yeah. stitches. By joining the end. You put the needle in the first stitch and you pull the yarn through the first stitch and the last stitch. stitch. That's the chain. Mm. stitch. Yeah. Then you do five chain stitches. So five. One, two, three, four. Five. And then you do a single crochet? A single crochet, yes. That around would be a double crochet in English, in British English. Around the circle. A single crochet, so just... And then you have the first leap, or what you call it. Then you do five chain stitches again. Okay. And another five. single crochet around the circle. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Now you have two leaves. Okay, and then a single crochet, which is a double crochet in British. Okay, yes. Okay, and five more. Five more. Whoops. One. And another single crochet. So how many times do you repeat that? You do that five times. Five times. So now I have five of the leaves. Then the last leave, I will do in another way because for the next round I start in the middle of a leaf. And the way you do that is you do two chain stitches mm -hmm. and then you do a stav around the circle. So a stav in uh, Norwegian would be a double crochet in American English or a treble in the United Kingdom. So either a treble or a double crochet, depending on which country you're from. So you just have the needle like that in the last of the two chain stitches. You just pull the yarn over the needle. You go in the circle and pull the yarn through again. And then you pull the yarn again through the two first on the needle and then the two last one. And then you have the single crochet. No, you have a double crochet. A double crochet. Or a treble. <laughs> why I know it's why very make it easy? <laughs> exactly. Why make it easy when you can make it very cool? Yeah. And now, now we do groups of uh, stavir. So groups of double crochets slash trebles. Yeah. On top of each leaf. Or like around the leaf. But just when you do the first uh, group of stavir, Double crochets slash 
trebles. Yeah. You start with three chain stitches, which okay. is the same as one stav. Cool. So that's the first one. And then you do the two stavi, the two single crochet. No, the two double crochet, the double crochet slash treble. Okay. And then just put the yarn on the needle, go in the leaf, pull the yarn through and pull the yarn through the two first on the needle and the two last on the needle and then you have one staff. One double crochet or a treble. And then you make one more like that. Now you have to learn how to say this, Arne, because I've been saying it so many times. <laughs> well, I have like a memory of a goldfish. <laughs> yeah, yes, you do. <laughs> so, that's the first group of uh, single crochet? No. No? Double crochet? Yes. Okay. Or <laughs> treble. Or treble. And then you make a chain of eight chain stitches. Okay. Lift musket. Lift chain, musket. Chain stitches, yes. Yeah. So, one. And then you do three more of the stavir. Of the double crochet. The double crochet, crochet around the next leaf. And this is what you need to know to make the snowflake. Like that. I have two groups. Okay. And I have eight chain stitches. So I make a new group of stavir. I can't remember. It's a double crochet, double crochet or a treble. <laughs> okay, but now you know what you need to know to make a snowflake. So you can go to our website and you can find the pattern. The free pattern. The fr it's free. Yes. Oh my God. But we will show you how to finish the snowflake like this. Wow, that was fast. So now you see we have groups of single, double crochet, stavir, trebles, and chain stitches, and single crochet yeah. in between. So now you just fin we just finish this leaves by doing uh, three chain stitches. A single crochet in the middle of the single crochet on the round before, mm -hmm. then three more. Then we do three groups, two groups of chain stitches. No, two groups of stavir. Of double crochets. Two groups of double crochets. Or treble, depending on where you are. Where you are. In the mm. Around the uh, chain stitches, yes, like in the middle of the the little hole over there of the leaf. So first we do one group with three, and those will shape the point yes. of the snowflake. Yes. So three, and then three chain stitches, and then three more of the stuff which. The double crochets or the trebles. I don't know how many more times I have to say this, Horner, but I'm happy to do that. Okay, I'll try next time. I'll try. Okay, so three chain stitches mm -hmm. in a row, a single crochet in the single crochet from the round before. Okay. Three more chain stitches. And then you do the double crochet. There we go. Which is also a... Single crochet? No. No. A treble. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why can't it be like a stop? Yeah, well... Like this. And then you finish it off by doing three chain stitches and then a chain stitch in top of the first Stav, uh, double crochet, or treble. Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then you cut the yarn and you pull the, the yarn through the last stitch and you have a snowflake. The star, yes. Or snowflake. You need some ironing. Yes. That's about it. <laughs> mm -hmm.